The African continent is not short of thousands of statues, from the bizarre to the iconic. Anyways, here are the statues of Africa. Like, subscribe and share please to help us. Thanks and enjoy. First we have to look at the tallest statue on the continent, as at the time of this recording, which is none other than the African Renaissance Monument in Senegal. Built of bronze and overlooking the Atlantic, this monument is 52 meters tall. It was designed by Pierre Goudabi and constructed by Mansuede Overseas Projects. It took about two years to complete, however, it attracts people from all over the continent. It is meant to symbolize the triumph of African liberation from centuries of ignorance, intolerance and racism. The sun on the man's shoulders is supposed to represent the future as it points into the distance. Moving east to Nigeria, there is the Jesus the Greatest statue, standing at 28 feet. It is presumably the tallest statue of Jesus on the continent. The statue was commissioned by Obina Onoha, a 43-year-old businessman who claims to have had a vision in 1997 to build this marble sculpture, which was unveiled in 2016. A year later, the Moremi Statue of Liberty was erected in Ileife, celebrating the queen who helped in the liberation of the Yoruba people. This statue is currently the tallest in Nigeria and the fourth tallest in Africa. Sitting at the entry of the commercial capital of Nigeria is the Welcome to Lagos or the Arometa statue. This white stone statue has three chiefs welcoming people into the city and state. Initially, it was in another location, but many locals felt it was spiritually damaging to the area because of the many automobile accidents happening in its vicinity. Eventually, it was burnt down by unknown arsonists and it took three months to fix and relocate it. In neighboring Benin, Kutunu city recently unveiled a 30 meter high monument called the Benin Amazon, which celebrates the history of the Amazons of Dahomey, the only female army in modern day history and the inspiration for the Dore Milaje in the Marvel movie Black Panther. In Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana, has a famous gold statue erected in his honor, but his initial statue was vandalized in 1966, at which time the head disappeared. Four decades later, the head was recovered as it was being protected by an elderly woman. Now the head sits on a pedestal beside the headless body. Over in Central Africa Republic, there is a controversial statue erected in 2020 by a Russian mining company. This statue, called the Russian Mercenary Monument, was installed in honor of the Russian mercenaries that have been providing security services to the African country. As expected, other countries have criticized this statue's existence as Russia's interference in the country. This statue is life-size and easily accessible compared to the others on this list. Nelson Mandela will forever be remembered, especially by the people of South Africa. Ten days after his passing, a statue was erected at the Union Building in South Africa to close the mourning period in 2013. The 9 meter tall statue is different from other Mandela statues, not just by height, but by the action of opening his hands, a gesture of welcoming everyone as opposed to the clenched fists usually asserting freedom. Not far from this monument sits a site unique in the sense that there is more than one statue at this location. In fact, there are over a hundred life-size statues of the influential people who paint South Africa's history. In a sea of copper statues, not only would you see Nelson Mandela or Shaka Zulu, you would also see other influential people like Adelaide Tambo to even Fidel Castro, all representing South Africa's walk to where it is today. The project started in 2010 with 55 statues but aims to complete with over 400 statues. Down south in Cape Town, the Noble Square houses four bronze statues of Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, F.W. de Klerk and Albert Lithuli, who are all Nobel Prize winners. They also represent South Africa's struggle for democracy and human rights. Towards the Eastern Cape in the town of Bathurst, you will have an interesting 56-foot tall pineapple building made of fiberglass and metal, symbolizing pineapple country. As this is a building, does it still qualify as a statue? You decide. Anyways, in Botswana, the three Degosi monument stands at 18 feet tall. Made of bronze, this statue depicts three important tribal chiefs in the history of Botswana who traveled to England in search of separation from South Africa. In neighboring Zambia, the faceless graduate statue is a prominent sculpture located in the University of Zambia in Lusaka. Created in 1971, the statue is a faceless graduate wearing a graduation gown and holding a diploma scroll, intended to represent the idea that education is open to all, regardless of race, gender or social status. Every June 3rd, thousands of Christians visit Nabugongo, a location in Uganda where over 40 Christians were brutally killed by the orders of King Mwanga II between 1885 and 1887. The statues at selected churches depict violent scenes of what most likely happened over a century ago, from amputations, hangings to burnings. Queen Nzinga is one of the most elite queens in the history of Angola and Africa. She fought the Portuguese colonists during her reign in the 17th century. Her statue stands in Angola. Another queen who protected her people against Arab Islamic conquest was Dia, also known as Kahina, and she has a statue of herself in Algeria. Ethiopia is one of the two countries that were never colonized, which was solidified during the first Italo-Ethiopian War, 
with Emperor Menelik II leading the Ethiopian army. His statue was erected in 1930 as a symbol of the victory. When Italy occupied Ethiopia in 1936, Mussolini tried to destroy the monument to remove the history from the minds of Ethiopians and the world. However, after World War II, the statue was restored after Italy had to withdraw from the country. There are older statues in Northern Africa and Egypt is a place hosting statues derived from ancient Egypt. None of them comes to mind that the Great Sphinx of Giza, which sits on the banks of the Nile River. It is one of the most recognizable statues on earth as it also raises discussions of what may have happened to the nose of the statue. Made from bedrock, this statue has been restored with limestone. No one knows when this structure was created, but archaeologists suggest construction began in 2500 BC. Not far, the Ramses II statue has been relocated three times after it was initially found in six pieces. This red granite statue was restored with metal bars and finally placed in a museum, protected from the harsh environment. This statue is about 3,000 years old. Then there's the Colossi of Memnon, which is two statues of Amenhotep III and Abu Simbel, a set of statues representing Ramses II. On the island of Mauritius, you have Hindu statues like the Lord Shiva statue and the Durga Ma statue, which would be the largest Hindu statues on the continent. In Seychelles, there's a very recent Liberty Monument, which replaced the Free Man statue, which is of a couple holding the flag above their heads. Then you have the Coco de Mer statue, which is a statue of the world's biggest seed, only seen in Africa. Is it me or does this seed look like something that rhymes with nut? As there are a plethora of statues on the African continent, especially those in roundabouts, national parks and museums, the focus of this video is on the statues that stand out. It is also worth mentioning that there is a difference between a statue and a monument. Hence, structures like the Independence Arch will not be highlighted here. If there are some statues noteworthy of a mention, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Will we see you in the next one?